हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑन टू डायमेंशनल रैंडम वेरिएबल्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टू डायमेंशनल डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड वी हैव सीन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ टू डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन इज नोन एज जॉइंट प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एक्स एंड वाई एंड इज गिवन बाय probability that capital x equal to small x and capital y equal to small y and every time we will not write and uh, we will write comma so we always understand that here in this case this comma is for this end so this is the probability of intersection of two events capital x equal to small x and capital y equal to small y so with this in mind uh, we can do some examples related to this two dimensional discrete random variables so we consider this example consider an experiment of tossing a fair coin twice let order pair capital x capital y be a bivariate random variable that is two dimensional random variable where this capital x is the number of heads that occurs in the two tosses and capital y is the number of tails that occur in the two tosses so we have to answer these questions what is the range of random variable capital x what is the range of y what is the range of bivariate random variable x y and we will calculate these probabilities so first of all uh, we concentrate that what is the random experiment so here random experiment is tossing a fair coin twice so our sample space for this experiment will be cartesian product of these two sets uh, we know that if we toss a coin one time there are two possibilities either head or tail so here we are tossing a coin twice so the sample space will be equal to cartesian product of these two sets so we have h h then h t and if we fix t and we consider t with h and t with t so there are total n equal to 4 outcomes in the sample space of this random experiment now random variable capital x is defined as this is sample space so it is a function from s to r in this case it is defined as x omega equal to number of heads in two tosses so x is defined as number of heads so for example if i consider this outcome if i consider omega equal to head and head then image of this head and head under this random variable capital x will be equal to 2 similarly if i consider this outcome then in this uh, outcome there is one head so image of this outcome under random variable x will be 1 similarly this outcome uh, will be assigned one value for this capital x and if we consider image of this outcome tail and tail then that will be zero so we can see there are only three possible values 0 1 and 2 so range of random variable x is 0 1 and 2 so here i have written the sample space of the given experiment is this s equal to this set capital x is number of heads in two tosses so the possible values of capital x are there might be zero heads one heads or two heads so range of x is set having these three real numbers 0 1 and 2 in part b we have to find out range of random variable y random variable y is number of tails in two tosses so here also there are three possibilities either there will be no tail in two tosses or only one tail in two tosses or there might be both the tails in two tosses so range of y is also set having 
these three real numbers 0 1 and 2 now to find out the range of our bivariate random variable so range of this random variable is given by set of all ordered pairs in plane such that they are images of if i consider omega outcome in the random in the sample space then this small x is nothing but image of random variable x and this small y is nothing but image of omega under random variable y so simply if x omega is small x and y omega is small y then this ordered pair x y is nothing but image of this bivariate random variable image of omega under this bivariate random variable okay, i repeat again if x omega equal to small x that is image of omega under capital x is small x image of omega under capital y is small y then this ordered pair x y is image of omega under bivariate random variable order pair capital x y so here we will try to find out that what are the possible pairs so for that uh, possible values of random variable x are 0 1 and 2 and possible values of random variable y are also 0 1 and 2 but we are interested in the possible values of this bivariate random variable so for that we can uh, understand using this uh, figure or this suppose i have here xy plane so here i consider suppose this distance is 1 so here i will have 2 and here 1 and 2 so we consider values of random variable x on x axis and values of random variable y on y axis and on this side we consider our domain of bivariate random variable which is sample space so these are the elements of sample space h h s t t h and t t now uh, we want to find out image of this outcome under bivariate random variable x y so for that first we find out image of this random variable under capital x so capital x is number of heads in two losses so it is 2 and image of this random variable image of this outcome under random variable y so y is number of tails in this outcome so it is 0 so order pair 2 0 will be associated with this outcome so because image of this outcome under x is 2 and image of this outcome under y is 0 so if we consider this order pair 2 0 then 2 0 will be image of this outcome under bivariate random variable capital x comma capital y similarly if we consider uh, this outcome then image of this outcome under x is number of heads in this uh, row so there are only one head similarly y of ht means number of tails is 1 1 so this outcome is associated with order pair 1 1 similarly this outcome is also associated with 1 1 because x of th means number of heads is 1 and y of th means number of head number of tails is also 1 so these two outcomes are associated with order pair 1 1 so here we have order pair 1 1 okay, this order pair is order pair 1 1 so that we can associate with this 1 1 okay, this point is order pair 1 1 and similarly uh, if we consider x of tt 
that is number of heads is 0 and y of t t that is number of tails is 2 so corresponding order pair will be 0 to so value of x is 0 value of y is 2 so here we have 0 2 so this is associated with 0 2 so now we can use this definition that we have to consider those pairs in plane such that x omega equal to small x and y omega equal to small y so we have these three pairs 2 0 1 1 and 0 2 so range of bivariate random variable x y will be having three order pairs 2 0 1 1 and 0 2 okay because if we consider 2 0 then 2 0 is corresponding to this outcome h h such that x omega equal to 2 and y omega equal to 0 so in this way we can decide the range of bivariate random variable so here i have written that range of bivariate random variable is having three ordered pairs that we have discussed just so range of bivariate random variable is having set having these three ordered pairs now in part d we have to calculate these three probabilities probability of the event x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 x equal to 0 and y equal to 2 and x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 suppose we concentrate on this event then uh, we have to find out the outcomes in the sample space such that number of heads are 2 and number of tails are 0 Okay, we have to find out the outcomes in favor of intersection of these two events x equal to 2 means we have to find out that outcome in which there are two heads and y equal to 0 means there are no heads uh, no tails that is 0 there are 0 tails so if we search for this outcome for which x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 then there is only one possibility if we consider this outcome then for this outcome x is 2 and y is 0 for remaining outcomes this event is not satisfied so uh, we have to write that probability of this event intersection of two events x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 okay, here i have written probability that x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 is probability of the event head on the first toss and head on the second toss now there are total four outcomes and outcomes in favor of intersection of these two events is one so probability is one by four okay so here we have written probability that x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 equal to probability of two heads which is 1 by 4 similarly probability of x equal to 0 and y equal to 2 means x equal to 0 means no heads and y equal to 2 means two tails so outcome in favor of this event is also single outcome tail and tail so here also we have same probability 1 by 4 and for third third probability we have x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 so we have to find out those outcomes in which we have one head and one tail so those two outcomes are head and tail and tail and head okay, if we observe here then this outcome has one head and one tail this outcome also has one head and one tail so x is 1 and y is 1 for these two outcomes so total number of outcomes are 4 and here we have 2 so by the definition of probability we obtain 2 by 4 or 1 by 2 okay, so here sum will give us marginal probability distribution of random variable y okay, so this is all about this uh, lecture i hope you like it thank you very much